Hi, it's me again with Corel Doll Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me four pieces of rope and they need help putting around the examples. They had a square and a circle. Square would be a whole different game. But if we look at this real close before we start anything, and this bugs me that the gentleman I'm helping has his file set on fill with black. Um, you can see the white background. So we can go and it's actually a vector we can actually ungroup it and then try to grab just the black. And pull it out of the way. Now, for some reason, I like working it like that. So you could take this exact piece of rope and make an ellipse. See, that just bugs me to no end. <clears throat> then take your rope, go up to your artistic media tool, and then pick on your item. And then you're going to have to either go up or down uh, with the scale, and that particular one doesn't work. Uh, maybe I didn't save it. So we take this piece of rope and go right here to save, and we'll call it rope. 55, whatever. And then put it on your lips. I should have changed that before I started the video. And then just take your pick tool and go to your artistic media tool and then pick that circle and go down. And see, it's way too big, so we'll go smaller. And even you can go downhill. And it does give you the rope effect. Probably needed to be around one. So it does give you a rope. But to do it around a perfect circle, you would need to take an ellipse and find out, find out how big it is. Um, convert this to a curve. Go up to Windows, Dockers, Properties. And you click right here, and it is 43. We're going to make it a little bit bigger. We're going to make it uh, 45. Uh, so I'm going to raise this to like to 105. That's 46. Let's go 104. And that's 45 something. We can um, go 103.9. And we're at, well, that didn't change it very much. 103.5 and now we're at 45 and a half so we would take this rope well I don't know why that does that see there's his original we would take this rope and we need to make this rope 45 and a half inches so we're going to take this rope and we're going to make it five inches long with our ratio lock. So it's just going to make it smaller. We're going to set our nudge factor on five and we're going to control D. He's also got his duplicate set on Z. 25, 25. You need to set that on zero, my friend. Control D. So there's 10, 15, 20, 25. Whoop. So there's four objects. So I got 20, control D. Uh, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. So we should have about 45 inches, 35 inches. I, control D, control D. So we have 45 inches of rope. And a member of our circle is 45 inches. So we're going to group this together. And then we're going to go and let's bring the lips down here. And let's pick on our rope and go to artistic media tool, pick the brush shape. And when this is highlighted, you can save it. And we're going to call it rope, capital V for video. And then click on your item. And then you still have to go up or down. But look at that. It put the rope pretty close to what it looks like. We're still way too thick. 
Um, we could go down quite a bit, make it look quite a bit bigger, better. Let's make it one. Let's make it 0.5, see what it looks like. There you go. So there's that rope pretty close around that object. It doesn't look like that long a stretch would take that long to do it, but it did work. That looks pretty good too. I mean, just, um, you know, you can still uh, change things like that by making them a little bit less. You know, let's go 0.5 on that. Yeah, it looks like a twisted rope. Go 1.5 and you get a thicker rope. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.